My name is David Hover. I've been with Century Optics for four years. My job title is Cine Account Manager. Uh, my responsibility is traveling, teaching people about the product, making sure everybody's happy with buying and selling the product, and updating people when there's new product coming out and when to expect it. My involvement with the MK1300 25th anniversary fisheye lens was I saw a petition online. I was the one who actually had to write the discontinuation letter, which was heartbreaking. The way it ended was so abrupt. It didn't have a good ending. It didn't have like the closing of the book. It was more like the last chapter of the book just got ripped off. It didn't have the ending that I think it deserved. So when I saw this petition, it was kind of like, oh, well, that's kind of neat. You know, it's some people voicing their opinion. But then as the numbers started going up, I had to pay attention and actually run that up the flagpole to the higher ups and say, hey, there's a lot of people making a lot of noise about this lens. We should maybe talk to somebody. Made the connection, had the conversation, and here we are today. The Mark I was discontinued for a few reasons. This is gonna sound crazy, but every time Century sold one, they lost money. They had not increased the price of the lens with inflation and cost of materials and things like that for many years. So ultimately, we were wrapping a $10 bill around every one that we sent out for retail sales. It did plug along like that for a while. COVID did hit. That was sort of the death blow, to be honest. It gave us that time where we would had to kind of tighten the belt like everybody else did. And some of the casualties were the MK1 and the Extreme. Who is Jose? Jose is the guy that builds the MK1s, amongst other things. He's a very special part of this whole process because he knows how to time them by touch. He's painted every optic. He is actually like the father of all the MK1s. If you've had one in the past, you've had an MK1 that Jose has built. Obviously, the MK1 has been around for a while, 25 years. This is my first time seeing them built from basically scratch. It's amazing to see how much care Jose takes in each step of the process, whether it's inspecting the glass when it comes in, inspecting the machine parts. I mean, he's meticulously going over them. You can see him know when it's set perfectly. And it's not a machine, it's not a gauge, it's his hands, it's its ears, it's just tactile. And I, I feel like that's an art that may go away at some point. I hope not anytime soon, because Jose is kind of amazing like that. And it's fun to watch. It's absolutely a joy to watch. My name is Jose Hernandez. I've been working for Century since 1981. That's 41 years. My job title is Senior Tech Repair and Assembler. First of all, you gotta do the hard part. It's gonna be painting the glass. Clean it, get it ready. And then secondly, you start doing minor stuff. For example, this unit takes velvet on here and velvet here, so it takes time. After the front cell is being engraved, then I start assembling. And uh, lubricate and get it ready to assemble the glass. Make sure there's no dust between the elements. And get it ready for the customer. We were just thinking about it to discontinue, and I was kind of sad to find out, okay, we're gonna discontinue, and we said, okay, we're gonna build so much, and that's it, it's over. Next thing I know, there's a petition that a lot of customers want it. So, it went to the process, and luckily, we're making 300. Obstacles regarding bringing the MK1 back to life. We had shut it down. It was literally like, turn the machines off, we're not making glass, we're not doing machine parts. It was done. So, all of a sudden, we're like, hey, we're gonna make 300 more of these. It wasn't as simple as just turning on the machine and you know getting them pumping out. It was more like, okay, we're pretty much starting from scratch. This was not an easy process. Materials, polishing, shaping, everything seemed like we were crawling at the earth to move forward on this. I mean, it's, it's, it feels like a real accomplishment to have gotten to this point. To see them being assembled is almost like a dream. It's really surreal in a good way. To purchase a lens, head over to buymk1.com.